You know, I'm always telling people when they're cooking that they need to cook things for 10 minutes or 15 minutes and, uh, you know, maybe 45 minutes or an hour. Well, how do you know? Really, how do you know? You're out in the woods. You don't necessarily have a clock. Maybe your battery's dead on your cell phone. You just need to know. Well, you make yourself a sundial. Now, that sounds complicated and difficult, but not really. Let me show you how to do it with, a, with three sticks and your hatchet or a rock. All right, so here's how you do it. You take a stick, you chop it off sharp on one end, and you poke it in the ground. Pound it in the ground. You, see, you can see the shadow here. Well, as the sun moves, so does the shadow. So you take another stick and you poke it in right where the shadow is now. Right like that. Now the sun's moving from the east, which is that way, to the west, which is that direction. And so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of clean it off right here. And in most places, 15 minutes is about the width of your thumb. So I'm going to stick my thumb there and I'm going to put another stick right there. I'll push it in the ground. And we're going to watch that shadow move. Now I'm not thinking right. It won't go that direction. It'll go the other direction. It'll go this way. Right here. So let's push that stick down in the ground. And we have 11.37, and so we'll come back here in 15 minutes and see if that shadow is moved from this stick to this stick. Let's get a closer look at the shadows. There, you see the shadows on the stick on the left, but, and it should move to the stick on the right in about 15 minutes, so let's come back to it. Okay, here we are 15 minutes later in this shadow here from these, this stick which is your dial stick and, the, and your number sticks are over here. This shadow has now right in the middle between these two, which is about a thumb width apart. That's pretty accurate, see? Now the good old boy that taught me this trick, or this, this particular uh, way of making a clock, he's a lot farther south, he's a lot closer to the equator, so the surface of the earth is moving a little faster there, so the sun appears to move quicker, so this shadow will move faster. I live up by the Canadian border, and thus it's going a little slower up here. And uh, so, you know, it's just physics, it's the way it works. So you'll have to, for your area, figure out exactly how it is. Now you should always make the space here the, the width of a span of your hand. And the reason for that is you always have your hand with you, you don't always have a tape measure with you. So if you make it this size, you can always make it this size. And if for your area, you get out your clock and you time how long it takes this shadow to move, depending on the time of year and your location, then you'll have a fairly accurate clock. Now, you know, you're not counting seconds with this. This isn't like time in a drag race or anything. This is an approximate time measurement. It is great for cooking over a fire, things like that, because if you're a minute or two off, nobody's gonna get hurt. So, this is how you do it, and it works great. Hope you enjoy it. Have a good time with it.